we don't even look like it. We want to be led by the Spirit in everything that we do, oh God. We are people that desire nothing, nothing, nothing but you. And I pray that the Spirit of overflowing will flow over this house. I I am a good I'm calling my children in my course. I'm calling my children in my course. In my course, in my course. To prayer, hallelujah. To prayer, hallelujah. Lean on your face, hallelujah. Decline my word, hallelujah. As you pray, hallelujah, says the Lord. I'm calling you right now in the name of Jesus. If you want to see change, change must be in you. Change must be in our household. Change, hallelujah, must be around us, around us, hallelujah. Father's calling us to fast. Fast and pray. Fast and pray. Fast and pray. Seek my face. Seek my face that I may be found. You're wondering why we're going through what we're going through. We wonder what we see on the news while we see it. See, God said, you're not praying. You're not praying like the way I spoke to you to pray. Declaring the atmosphere. Speak a change, hallelujah, over the countries. Speak a change over the world. You better see yourself for how God see you. We are children of the most high king. I saw my course. Our Father reigns over the earth. Hallelujah. The earth is his footstool. Hallelujah. We have a mighty Father. Hallelujah. We have a mighty God. Hallelujah. If he's mighty, he's calling you up to mightiness too. Come, my children. Come. Come, my children. Come. Come, my children. Come. That's what he's saying. God said, move. He said, move out your place where you were last year. Move out your place where you were last month. God said, I'm moving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Father, I ask for forgiveness, Lord God. I ask for forgiveness, oh God. I ask for forgiveness, oh God. Because we're not where we need to be. Hallelujah. In my cosign, in my power of the Holy Spirit bring more conviction back into our hearts. Bring more conviction when we hear the word of God. Bring more conviction when we're not reading like we should. Bring more conviction. Hallelujah, when we're not studying like we should. Bring more conviction. about conviction when we're not praying. right now in the name of Jesus come in our hearts invade our minds invade our speech teach us how to pray teach us how to pray the way you want us to pray you keep calling us up to this new thing what is this new thing oh God put it in our hearts put it in our minds right now that we may walk out the image that you have called us to walk out in right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every assignment of Satan right now. We rebuke it, hallelujah. You said when Satan would come against us like a flood, you will build up the standard. We are the standard. And the standard is still holiness. God said be holy. God said be righteous because I am right. Call us back to that. Call us back to holiness, oh God. Call us back to righteousness. I rebuke the spirit of backbiting. I rebuke the spirit of division. Hallelujah. Useless words. I rebuke those words right now in the name of Jesus. I pray everything we speak, not our words, but yours. But yours. But yours. 
but yours are high. And I'm a co-side, I'm a co Gotta say, there's much more I wanna do, but you go next. There's much more I wanna say, but you go next. Much more I wanna bless, but you go next. Move the leadership, oh God. Move in every household. Move in every ministry right now in the name of Jesus. Even as I pray, keep your hand on apostle and lead it. Keep the protection. Keep wrapped up in you. We come against every assignment right now in the name of Jesus. Every fiery door, every fiery door right now in the name of Jesus. We come against you. Every sniper, we find you out. Right now in the name of Jesus. Father, take the scales off our eyes that we may see who's shooting at him. Take the scales off our eyes that we may shoot back in the name of Jesus. Take the scales off our eyes that we may say that of our uh, break forward our salt uh, on the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. No more will we sit quiet. No more will we sit hollow and hide. No more will we sit in the corners. God has called out every Aiva Kosa, every warrior right now in the name of Jesus. He's calling you out right now. Open our eyes, oh God. Open our eyes to see the enemy. Open our eyes to understand what he's trying to do. Open our eyes now. You should be angry. You should be angry. You should be angry. When you see people dying and we know we have a God. That he can heal them. Uh, he can raise them up again. We know we have a God of healing. We know we have a God of truth. But Father, we glorify you. We magnify you. You are bigger than anything. You are bigger than any problem. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. We give you praise, God. Come on, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Come on, we take it by force. Come on. Come on, we serve a victorious God. Come on, he woke us up in our right mind. That's enough to say thank you. Come on, if you can hear my voice, that's enough to say hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times. What about tonight? Come on, I still bless him. Come on, I still say yes. Come on, I still say hallelujah. How great thou art. Come on, love on him. How great thou art. There is none like you, Lord Jesus. Come on before you. Come on, I say yes to your will. Come on, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, thank you, Lord. Why the blood is running warm. We say thank you. Come on, find him now, cause he can be found. Come on, set him yes. Come on, say I love you. Come on, we're in the presence of the most high God. Come on, Zion. Come on, we are soldiers in the army of the Lord. And God, we ask you to re-strengthen, replenish, restore, refill, fill my cup, fill my cup, pour out your spirit upon us, come on, don't mind waiting, we come here to get a touch, we come here to get a refill, hell of a shake, come on, hell of a shake, come on, we serve a mighty God. Come on, we serve a good, good father. Come on, we're talking about the good shepherd. He brought us this far. He didn't bring us to leave us. Come on, we still push. We pray until something happens. We still say yes. God, I'm not talking about over the good. I'm talking about over our haters, our circumstances, our tribulation, our, even the ones backbite. We thank you. Thank you for our haters. Thank you for the persecutors. Thank you. It's just pushing us higher. It's just pushing us higher. It's just elevating you. It's just elevating us. Hey, because it's a closer walk with thee. Closer. Come on, we're getting closer. Come on, we are climbing. Take a ladder. Come on, we're wheeling the mill up a wheel. Come on, we won't punk out. We won't punk out. We still say yes. We still love you. We still bow before you. We still give you glory. Come on, he's a 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, clap those holy hands and give God some glory. Hallelujah, Father. Father, we give your name glory. Father, we honor you in this place today, oh Lord. We give your name glory, Lord God. We give your name glory. We give your name glory. 
glory, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Come on, worship him. Glory, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. We honor you in this house, Father. We magnify you in this house, O oh Lord. We glorify you in this house, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Come on, everybody, lift up your holy hands. Come on, magnify the Lord. Lift up your hands, O oh ye gates. Hallelujah. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We honor you. We magnify you, Lord. We lay aside all the sin and the weights that so easily beset us, Father. And we bless your name, Jesus. We expect you tonight, Lord. My God. We expect you tonight, Lord. We expect you tonight, Jesus. We expect you, Lord. We expect you, Jesus. We expect change, God. We expect reformation, Lord. We expect your presence, Jesus. We expect your peace, oh Lord. Oh Father, we expect you. Woo, we expect you, Lord. Woo, we expect you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. We bless your name, oh God. We bless your name, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hey, about Sunday, keep getting my soul. Yet it is Sunday, yeah, yeah. Yet it is no more so. Yen de ma sante de ma so. Ye na Monday, yen te ne ma sonde ke ne ya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for freeing us from the weight of the day, God. Thank you, Lord, for healing us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for delivering us, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your tender mercies. Oh, yeah, yeah, my son, yeah, yeah, my. For your mercies that are new every morning, Jesus. For your mercy, Lord, that's new every morning. For your grace that is sufficient for me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. Because any, anybody in here grateful? Is anybody in here grateful that he's faithful? He's faithful, 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 faithful. He's faithful. Yes, he is. He's faithful. Yes, he is. He's a faithful Lord. He's a faithful, faithful, faithful God. Ah, well, even when we're not, psych. When we ain't faithful, he's still faithful, man. When we're no good, he's still good. He's still good. He's still good. Y'all know God is good. Y'all know he's a holy God. He's a good God. He's a righteous God. He is deserving of our praise. He is, the Bible says, uh, take off for the spirit of heaven is put on the garment of praise. Sometimes we have to give a sacrifice of praise. If a sacrifice was easy, everybody would do it. The sacrifice means you really don't feel like it. But I do it anyway. I don't feel like lifting up my hands, but I do it anyway. I don't feel like getting up on my feet, but I do it anyway. Hallelujah. That's what sacrifice means. Hallelujah. I do it anyway. I do it anyway, Father. Sometimes I want to give up, but I keep on going, Jesus. Uh, sometimes I want to quit. Hallelujah. I don't want to take another step, but I do it anyway, Jesus. Hallelujah. You don't get that way sometimes. You don't even want to take another step, but you do it anyway. You don't want to go on no further, but you do it anyway. You want to lay down your cross, but you keep it anyway. Hallelujah. 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 Just when I think about his goodness, hey. Hallelujah. 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 That he loved me. That he loves me. 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 Look at me. I'm nothing. That he loves me. Hallelujah. I have seen it in me. I saw. And he called me his own. I have seen it. He called me his own. Aaron, he called me his child. 
people. You gave me a place in the, in the house. Uh, he gave me a place in his house. Uh, he called me a son. Hallelujah. Yeah. He didn't give me a servant place in the house. Uh, he gave me a sonship spot in the house. Hallelujah. I am my seer. And he let me call him father. Hallelujah. He let me call him father. Hallelujah. I can pray our Father, hallelujah, which art in heaven. Now you must see, uh, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, I Thy will be done. In on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Father, our daily bread, Lord. And forgive us all of our trespasses, Father, as we forgive, Lord God. Those who trespass against us, Father, lead me not into temptation, Jesus, but, but deliver me from evil, Father. For thine is, Father, thine is, my Father, your kingdom. Them all power and all glory is thine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the most see the dia. Yeah, the most. Yeah, the most see. Yeah, the dia. Pastor Parker, he gave me a prayer that I could pray. I can pray to him as my father, and he says, "Son, say, our father." Yeah, the most see the dia. Yeah, the most see the dia. Yeah, the most see ya. Yeah, the most ya. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what I did. It doesn't matter what I did, what I said. He calls me his own. In a year, I'm most seated. I saw ya tanned in a man, no so ya da. In a day, I had a boy, I say. In a boy, you sit in here. In a more seated here. Yada, 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 yada. I'm here, says the Lord. Let me touch you. Yada, 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 yada. In a boy, in a year, no more will see ya ta yet in any more ya sa. In a morning in a year, you did not see ya day. I just hear the Lord say, Let me have it. Yeah, you don't see ya day, ya na. Let me have it. Let me have it. In a more see ya ta. In a man, do see ya day, say, Moyano. I am a boy, 
Drink, 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 drink of these living waters. Drink, 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 yeah. I am able to see, drink, drink of these living waters. Drink of these living waters. It'll never, never run dry. These living waters. There's refreshing in this house today. There's refreshing in this house tonight. There's a free. The Bible says that He will give us times of refreshing. This is, this is one of those times. This is one of those times. You drink, 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 yeah. Drink, 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 yeah. I am a master yonde. I am an animal. There is no reason you should leave out of this place today the same. There's no reason you should leave out of here today. Today without being refreshed. Be refreshed. Be refreshed. Be restored. I lose restoration in the house. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be 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 restored. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you a hope in your latter end. And you shall call upon me. And you shall go and pray unto me. That's the key right there. You shall go and pray. Uh, and I will hearken unto you when you go and pray. And you shall seek me. And you shall find me. Well, this is the answer right here. When you seek me with all, the Bible says, when you seek me with all of your heart. When you seek me with all of your heart. Tongue, nobody knows like God knows the plans that he has. The thoughts they think towards you every day, not thoughts of evil, for them to give you a hope of prosperity, of happiness, of holiness. Those are his thoughts towards you. People may think whatever they want. God says, I just think, I can't wait to bless you. If you out there, God cannot wait to bless you. I don't care where you are, I don't care what you're doing. God says, don't worry about what nobody else. We spend way too much time focused on what other people think about us. God says, for I know the thoughts I have towards you. They're not thoughts of evil. Yeah. It's to prosper you. To give you a hope and a future. Hey, whoo, I feel that thing in my, in my, in my spirit, boy. A hope and a future. Hallelujah. 
Don't worry. Woo. Don't worry. Don't worry about how it's going to work out. It's going to work out. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ah, about how it's going to work out. It's going to work out. Nikki, it's going to work out. It ain't even important how it works out. It's going to work out. Ain't T.D. ain't got to worry about how God's going to do it. God's got it figured out already. He's got it worked out already. You know, I got this and I'm going to bring whatever God would allow me to bring. But man, my all my thoughts, son, are focused on the fatherhood of God. All I can, every day I'm consumed with the thought of the fatherhood of God. Just, just a reminder before I get to this teaching. His greatest joy is not being your God. It's being our Father. That's why the only prayer Jesus taught us to pray was the Our Father's Prayer. Can you remember that? That's the only prayer Jesus taught us to pray. Man has written many thousands of prayers. But, the, but God himself, whoo, you got to think about it. God himself taught us how to pray to him. Jesus is, 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 the, is the set in the Trinity. Son in the Trinity. He is God in the flesh. So God in the flesh said, this is what I want you to say to me when you say something to me. Call me your daddy. If you don't like father, say daddy. If you don't like daddy, say papa. If you don't like papa, say papi. Just put him in the mind of being our father. I'm telling you, if you embrace that thought, if we embrace, I wrote something down today. You could be seated. You could be seated. I wrote something down today, and I thought it was powerful. And I was talking to my wife, and, and we were talking, and God spoke something to my spirit, and, and I had to write it down. Right is right. Was she, she went and bought me this thing to say right is right. She right. And, and I wrote it down and, and I thought about our God commanding us to do something. And he said, son, you do it out of reverential fear. But when your father says, would you do this for me? It's, it's a whole different spin on it then. Because it, it, it invokes your love for him. It's different from, from your God making you do something. To your daddy saying, would you do that? I need you to do this for me. He came to me this week, son, and he asked me, he said, I need you to do this for me. You going to do this for me? And it was just the way he said it, son. He could have commanded me, but he wanted to invoke my love. He wanted me to remember that it was his father. Asking him to do him a favor almost. Rather than saying, you better do this. I knew, I knew that my answer in any case would be yes. You with me? But, but my yes was different. It wasn't fearful. It was love. You hear me, mama? Y'all hear me? It wasn't a fearful yes. Because he was going to whoop me. Yeah. It was a, it was a loving yes. Because he loved me. Allow the Spirit of God to train you. To see him differently. Because as long as we see him as God alone, we'll, all we'll see is the judge. All we'll see is the disciplinarian. We'll forget that he's more than that. We'll forget that his greatest role to us as humanity is not God. I know this might be blasphemous to, to some people watching or whatever, but to me, I don't deal with him as God. I know he is God, but I deal with him as my father. So my father just happens to be God. But he's my daddy first. He's my God as well, but I don't approach him as God. I approach him as his son. Because even a, a wayward son can come back home. Ooh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Even if I was bad, a son always has a spot in his father's house. 
he lays in my times of sliding, slipping. The day I went off the rails, Pastor Parker, he laid out my ring in my robe. The day I went off the rails, not knowing how long I would be. You're not even hearing me. I don't even know if I'm going to get to this tonight, but you're not even hearing me. The day I went off the rails, he put my ring and my robe on the bed. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? He didn't know how long I was going to be gone, but he knew his love would bring me back. Knew his love would bring me. You got a ring and a robe the day you left. And it sat there because he knew you couldn't escape his love. I can drop the mic and we can go home with that. Yeah. His love. Whew. Yeah. His amazing grace. I've been waking up every morning acknowledging, thanking him for the new mercy he just gave me. For years, I forgot to do that. But every morning I've been saying, thank you for your new mercy that you didn't have to give me. And every time things got difficult, ain't he, I remembered the sufficiency of his grace. No matter what it is I got to endure, he would say to me, son, it's enough. It's enough. My grace, son. But, this, but look, daddy, that's big. It's enough. Boy, y'all better hear what I'm saying. I'm telling you, it'll free you. It'll free you. It'll pull you out of condemnation. It'll make you stop sinning because you love him so much. Not because you're scared. It'll, it'll free you. And I'm telling you, it'll deliver you. I don't fight against sin because I'm scared. I fight against sin because I, sin because I don't want uh, to hurt him. I don't want to make him, I want my father happy. I remember as a boy, I remember I could not wait to get home with certain grades because I wanted my dad to be proud of me. It's the same thing. I wanted my father to be proud of me. Some of y'all looking at these knobby knees. Say, he preach, that preacher preaching with shorts on. You know what my father told me? I'm still proud of you. So I don't care what nobody else think. I'm still proud of you. No calves. <laughs> Legs only a mama and a wife could love. And Jesus. <laughs> Look, if you can't hear the word of God, because of my nine knees, I need one of my sons to come help me move this thing so we can have a salvation praise. I don't care how long you've been in church, you need to get saved. If you miss Jesus for these chicken legs, for these bats, these home run hitters right here, boy, <laughs> these World Series bats. <laughs> God is good. My father has a sense of humor. He had to to call me to preach. <laughs> to call me to preach, he had to. He was laughing the whole time. I'm about to get them all. <laughs> but God is good, isn't he? In God good. Come on, clap those holy hands one more time. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm not going to hold you long. Uh, just give me a, a few minutes. You know, sometimes I believe men go way over the time they're supposed to, the time when God is finished. But I do, wanna, I, I do want to hit a couple of these points, uh, and I'm probably going to end up having to go another Tuesday. I don't know whose Tuesday I'm taking today, but uh, who, is it yours, sir? Whose Tuesday was it today? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, praise the Lord. God has, God has worked that out. So he'll be back on the schedule soon. Yeah, amen. He'll be back on the schedule soon. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, well, that's good. It worked out just fine. Uh, Aaron, you can stop because if you keep playing, I'm going to keep worshiping and we're just going to be here.
Yeah, y'all know if he keep playing, we're just going to keep on worshiping. I praise the Lord for Aaron. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for the heart and the atmosphere that you're bringing in this house. I thank you for change. Thank you for the first change that you're bringing is to my own life and to my own heart. That you're making us over. That every day we look better. Hallelujah. That's all God wants, y'all, is just for us to look better. Yeah, better. You don't have to be perfect, but just look better. And so, Father, we expire. We aspire to be better tomorrow than we are today. Better husbands, better wives, better sisters, better brothers, better aunts, better cousins, better children, Father. And, God, we give you glory and honor, and we give you praise. We love you, Jesus, so much, so much. We don't want to be those that you say, why say, Lord, Lord, and you do not what I say. Why well, say we love you, well, and we keep the, none of your commandments. We want to be those chil faithful children. We get a little bit uh, prodigal in our walk sometimes, and we misuse the great things that you've given us, Father, but you've always laid out for us a way back home, and we're thankful for it, God. We don't take it for granted at all. We love you tonight, Jesus. I can say it a million times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I love you. I love you. This is time for you to be personal. I know we love him together, but I, I love him. My wife, I tell her, I love you. You know, it, it doesn't, it, we, we have kids, so I can say, hey, we love you. It sounds different when I say, baby, I love you. Uh, it's personal. So uh, I say to the Father tonight, I, Lord, I love you. Jesus, I love you tonight. And I thank you. In Jesus' name we pray and all God's people. Y'all believe that? Amen. Say amen. Amen. Just a real, real brief recap. I promise you give me 10 or 15 minutes and we'll get you out of here to stay on track with our timing. For those that's watching us on Facebook, YouTube, or whatever, thank you for joining us. Tell your friends about us. Uh, um, uh, if you feel like coming to DeSoto one day, come on and visit us. I believe God is doing some great things in this place. Amen? Amen. And there's some, some, some amazing things are about to happen in here. The glory and the grace of God is, is increasing. Every time we walk in this house, something different happens. Amen? Amen. And God shows his favor over our lives and over this house every time we walk in. Keep your hearts open. Amen. Y'all, yeah, this is just a side note. Keep your hearts open. Guard your heart. Guard your eyes and your ears. Okay? Guard the portals to this, to this thing. Amen? Watch what you watch. Watch what you listen to. Watch who you listen to. Everybody that says they love you, I don't. And everybody who says they're your friends, aren't. Amen? But one you can definitely guarantee is, and that's my Lord and my Savior, King Jesus. Amen? Amen. So, uh, so I thank the Father. We, we began part one on yesterday of, I don't know what's going on, guys, please be quiet. Was that an airplane? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad, y'all know me, I like stuff. Uh, we started on last week dealing with secret sin. And just a real brief recap, we talked about David, uh, we talked about David, we, went, we came out of uh, 2 Samuel chapter 11, and we talked about David and how David sinned with Bathsheba. Uh, we, we, we talked about how our sins and the things that we do don't just affect us. Amen? They do not just affect us. They affect the people around us. We said that, that our sins are not an island. Amen? And the stuff that we do, the sins, the infractions that we do, it hurts God first, but it hurts people around us as well. Amen? We laid all that out. Uh, we laid out uh, the, uh, David's sin. We know that he sinned with Bathsheba, uh, uh, got her pregnant, and uh, killed her husband. To win her. Amen? Amen. We talked real briefly about our exposure. And that exposure to the light. Hallelujah. I feel my help now. Exposure to the light brings healing. My mom used to say, baby, take the band-aid. Leave the band-aid off. Because let the air on it. Let the sun get to it. You know, that's a country. That's a, that's a southern thing. But it was true. And as soon as that air hit and that sun hit, it began to heal. And so all the time with the band-aid on it stayed war, war, moist and pussy. And, and so as long as you keep that thing hidden, that whatever that sin is, whatever that infraction is, as long as you keep it hidden, it's going to stay pussy. And, it, and, and its ability to, uh, to, uh, to increase infection, you can have one cut. I got a nurse in here. We got, nurse in, we got two nurses in here today. We, 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 one cut, small cut, left untreated and let stuff get into it, gangrene can get in it. Doesn't have to be a large wound, gangrene, and you can lose that whole limb, amen? 
Amen. So it's important that we expose those things to the light. You can hide it all day long. You can't hide it from God. And you can hide it only so long from man before God will expose you. David, David found out in verse in uh, chapter 12 that after after uh, uh, so much time of unrepented sin. And we talked about what secret sin was. Secret sin is unrepented, unresolved sin that we think is just going to go away on our own or remain undiscovered. Yeah, I want you to say like that a minute. Pause and come to think of it. Uh, secret sin is that sin that we think don't nobody know about. And, and we've been doing it for so long, some of us, we think it's just going to stay under the cover. It is not resolved and it's certainly unrepented. It is, and I don't care, it could be something that a lot of people think of seeing as something grandiose. It could be a stank attitude. It's just a bad attitude. Don't like you and don't like nobody else. <laughs> you know, and, and that, that is unrepented sin, and God wants to heal us, y'all. Yeah, he wants us delivered. He wants us healed, amen? Amen, 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 amen. So today, what I want to do, part two, I want to hit briefly, and I'm not going to be long. But I'm going to be long enough. Amen. So if I have to go a little bit longer uh, on another Tuesday, that, that's what I'll do. All right. I begin to, the, uh, in part two, God began to work on me about, about, the, uh, about how to come out. How to come out of that secret sin. There has to be a pathway out. Oh. Is somebody with me? Is somebody want to hear? Anybody going to preach with me tonight? Teach with me tonight? I told y'all I'm going to be teaching a lot. So and so and so there's a pathway out. Amen. You know, and so there is a way out of that. You don't have to stay bound forever. Yeah, the same Jesus that that saved you. Hallelujah. And brought you up from the mire. Yeah, this Jesus did not reach a hand down in the muck. He became the muck for you. Oh, my God. That's the difference, son. Anybody will reach a hand down and lift you up out of something. Uh, uh, and, and they may have a glove on, or they may not mind getting a little bit on their hand. Yeah, but they don't want to get down in there with you and help you out. But our Jesus became that thing. He became that very thing that you needed to come out of. He became sin so that you wouldn't have to. Oh, man, y'all not hearing what I'm saying. I'm still talking about Jesus. We still... This is still a worship unto the Father, amen? And so, and I, I want to go back over those scriptures so you'll know what the Bible says about, uh, about that concealed sin. Luke chapter 8, verse 17 reads, For all that is secret will eventually, say eventually. Who can tell me what eventually means? Sooner or later. Woo! I like that. Will sooner or later be brought out to the open. Yeah, yeah. And it don't mean to open with God because it's not hidden from God. So when it's brought out in the open, it is not brought out in the open from the Lord. Uh, 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 so God can see it. It's brought it out in the open so everybody else can see it because you did not reveal it to God. You're revealing it to God is not telling God something new. It's letting God know you know it's a problem. I feel like, I feel like doing a, doing a, what do, you, what do you call it? The shucky ducky or the. <laughs> One of them dances from David's day. <laughs> yeah. And so, and so, it, yeah, it ain't telling God something new. Oh, God, this is this. God been waiting on you to just say, I got a problem. That's it. And so we can be so embarrassed to tell God about something he already knows. How crazy is that? <laughs> that is just crazy. To get embarrassed about telling God something that ain't never been a secret. If he knows your end before your beginning, he knew you would before you did. That's the word, ain't it, Pastor Parker? So he knew I would before I did, right? Yeah, and so, and so I, I might as well get it out quickly. Yes, yeah, so he can get it out quickly. All right, this helping somebody. Two, three people might be helping. Be brought, it will be brought out in the open, and everything that is, con say everything, that's your word, your word for the night is eventually in everything. And everything that is concealed will be brought to the light and made known to all. We're talking about secret sin, amen? 
All right, I want to deal with so we can get to, because I, because one thing I definitely want to get to is how we come out of this thing. I want to deal with the painful, powerful symptoms of secret sin. Anybody want to know some symptoms? So you could say, man, check, 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 check. And if you check, you know, more than one of them, two of them, you might need to look and say, is there some things in my life? Okay, let me give you, a, give us all a little secret. We all got secret sin. Ain't nobody in here that don't have something that they haven't told somebody and haven't mentioned it to Jesus. The problem with some of them people is they don't even know or care that it's a problem. Now, look, let me say this to you, Aaron. Just because you don't think it's a problem and haven't revealed it doesn't mean God don't see it still as secret sin. But he, you just added pride to it. Which is still sin. Are you with me? Pride just got added to it because you won't even listen to the people that God has already exposed it to for, about your life. Good, I like that. There are, there are some things that we do that God has already sent a rescue, but you reject it because you didn't like where it came from. Y'all are not seeing this in the spirit. Sometimes we don't like the messenger. And we reject the messenger and forget all about the message. You don't know that that messenger you don't like is just the person you need. Ah. God knew you wasn't going to receive it from them to show you how prideful you are. Brought you an ass, Balaam, but you kept kicking them. Brought you a donkey. I'm trying to keep you from dying, but you keep kicking me. Boy, this is good. Thank you, Jesus. Symptom one, hopelessness, a sense that the sin cycle will never end. Anybody had struggled with something so long you didn't think you could ever get free from it? Hopelessness. You didn't think, you just thought, this is my life. And so you tried to figure out how you live that life with that and try to be the best person you can be dealing with that. I'm going to tell you tonight that there is hope for hopelessness. Ah, you ain't never hopeless for Jesus is our perpetual hope. He is the hope that springs how long? Woo! He is a hope that springs eternal. So there ain't no such thing in the, in the gospel faith as hopelessness. Not when you have Jesus. Depression. How many of those Christians suffer depression? The proof is. This word ain't for unbelievers. This word is for believers. And depression is one of the largest signs people dealing with secret sin, believers, deal with. So yes, believers suffer depression. Depression is that overwhelming feeling uh, and an inability to cope. I am unable to cope any further with this sin that I'm doing or the sin, or the sin that's being done to me. Sometimes the secret sin is sin that's being done to you that you won't tell. Can I confess? My wife went for years getting hands put on her, didn't say a word to nobody. It was my sin, but she suffered. So sometimes you need to rat. She should have ratted on me. But she didn't because she loved me. Is this helping somebody? Next one is anxiety. That, that constant fear that somebody is going to find out. There is deliverance for anxiety. You take sin's power from it by, by, by exposing it yourself. I'm teaching tonight. Y'all still with me? Okay. So anxiety is that constant fear that somebody is going to find out what I'm doing. Take, take the power from sin and go tell, because sin will rat on you and, and, and do you harm. Sin wants you destroyed. When you go tell on yourself, I'm not talking about to people, but I'm talking about to the Lord. 
when you go tell on yourself, God covers everything that man would have exposed. Somebody want to write about you. Jesus want to tell about you. That was good. Write that down, baby. <laughs> look, I'm quick to tell y'all, I don't, look, 90% of the stuff I say come out of my mouth while I'm up here. And any, re and any revelational preacher lets you know most of the stuff that they say is because they spend time with God, not because they are God. Yeah, they spend time in God, what whispers into their spirit, amen? Yeah. The next one, <laughs> the next one is powerlessness. A feeling the sin has become the controlling factor in your life. Man, I've seen that. I've seen the people, they go home from church. And, and they allow that thing. The first thing they do, they're trying to come out of, uh, uh, out of adultery, fornication, whatever the sin is, and they go straight to that. The only sin power has over your life is that that you submit to it. Okay, let me say this. Let me say this. Okay. Sin has power. But no authority. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay. Sin has power. But no authority. So it has ability. But no right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sin has ability. But no right to you. If you do not take its ability. By using your right. Then it takes your right. To use its power. Or on you. Okay. Do I need to say that again? If you do not use your, your, your right to bind its ability, it will use its power to bind your right. That's it. So the only, the only, the only the thing that sin can do is if you don't use your right to apply the power that you have over it, it will use its power to bind your right. It takes the right that you had and uses it against you. There is no such thing, man. There is no such thing in the kingdom of God of powerlessness. It does not exist. There is no such thing in the kingdom of God of su as supernatural. Okay. okay do, do I need to explain that? Give me a few more minutes. I'll be done in a few minutes. You need to explain that? All I'm saying is everything that we call supernatural is an everyday occurrence in the kingdom. It's just the way life is. And if and if we're if we're praying for Lord let your kingdom come on earth what? As it is in heaven, then we must begin to think as they do in heaven. I don't know about you, but I was a king, I was a citizen of glory before I came to earth. Okay, that sounds crazy to some people. I existed in the heart and the mind of God long before I, I was in my mama's belly. And so my Bible tells me I'm a sojourner passing through on my way home. Yeah. So my, so my power does not, is not contingent upon here. Matter of fact, if you want proof, in the Bible, an axe head floated. That is God saying the rules of gravity, the laws of nature does not apply where my people are. Boy, we, I'm telling you, man, we better start thinking that way. The laws of nature, the laws, excuse me, the laws of nature does not apply to me. They don't apply to me because I'm not from here. I live here, but I ain't from here. I'm still alive. Because the laws of nature don't apply to me. I'm supposed to be bed bound or dead. But the laws of nature don't apply to me. Because I ain't from here. And I'll never be powerless. I'll never be powerless. I'm going to skip over a few and then I'm going to go ahead and close and I'll finish the rest next week. Can I have one more week, y'all? Wasn't asking. I guess I did say can, huh? <laughs> uh, look, I, I, I want to get to at least one more. And this is a powerful one. Intense shame and guilt, which often persists long after the sin cycle has stopped. Wow. 
that takes, and I'm closing. You can pray for me, something for me tonight. Let y'all out of here. I don't want you guys to get tired. Intense shame or guilt says long after you've been freed, you've been delivered, it, it, let, me, let me give you something powerful that God told me. God told me that sin can only look backwards. It travels in time, but it can only go backwards. That's why all it does is remind you of what you had done. It cannot handle you telling it what you will do. You want to shut up that intense pain and guilt every time it reminds you of what you were. Remind it of what God called you to be. Every time it tries to say, uh, you, you used to do this. You remember. That's what it loves. You remember. Remember you used to. Remember you. Sometimes family members, boy, can be the worst on you because all they want to do is remind you of yesterday. Sin travels backwards. It cannot go forward because it's not omnipresent because it's from the devil. Oh, these are simple truths. It's not omnipresent. It can't be everywhere. So, all, so if you like keep going backwards, keep listening to sin. I don't care what you did. I don't care if your first day of deliverance was today. Tomorrow, you moving forward. Yeah, tomorrow you going forward. Tomorrow is another day of victory. Tomorrow is another day of healing. Tomorrow is another day of release. Tomorrow is another day of freedom. Tomorrow, I don't care what I did yesterday. Tomorrow will be better than today. And the next day will be better than that. Because we're moving forward. By the Spirit of God, we're moving forward. Yeah, you are free. You are delivered. You are healed. Chains of the enemy has no more ties on you. You are not what they said you were. You never were. You never were. I don't care what you did and how long you did it. You were never that. And as long as you're breathing, you can be more. Hallelujah. Somebody hearing me tonight. As long as you're breathing, you can be everything that God has called you to be. I'm a witness. I'm proof. I'm proof that, I don't, that you don't have to stay bound by whatever you were. I'm living proof. Hallelujah. Jesus. Whew. Tell me, I think about it. It messes me up. Hallelujah. Where I could be. Guess what? I'm a man of God. I'm a man of God. I accept that. This is my life. I don't care what my life was. This is who I this is who I've always been. <laughs> yeah. And Pastor Sean, I'm good with that. 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 Yeah, I'm good with that. Father, we give you glory. Father, we thank you. Oh, Father, just to say that name. Whew. Just to say, say the name, Father. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Just to say the name, Father. Woo. Say the name, say the name, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Just to say the name, Father, does something to me. Father, thank you, Father, for accepting me. Thank you, Father, for loving me. Thank you, Father, for keeping me. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Poppy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Abba. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We give your name glory. We give your name honor. Thank you, Lord, for restoring your people. Thank you, Father, for keeping them. In Jesus' name. Come on, baby. We pray. Everybody, you believe that? Come on, clap those holy hands and say amen. I love you.
Come on, let's thank God for the word. He's awesome, amen. So, Father God, we just pray over the word right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we ask that it be deposited in our spirits, in our hearts, in our minds, and that, God, we would meditate on it day and night, that we may be truly free in you, God, because your word says that who the Son set free is free indeed. And we thank you, Lord God, for exposure of us, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we may be a better you, God, through your blood, through your power, through your resurrection, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and most importantly, through your word that continually, that is provoked and activated on the inside of us, that we may know what you are saying to us concerning who you have called us to be fully, Lord God, not based on our past, but based on what you know us to be. And if you believe that, come on, just say amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All right, so we're going to move right into the word, so uh, right into the offering. So, um, ushers, <laughs> amen. Uh, right quick, I want to thank you, Mom, real quick. I had come to and I had to come back to you about topics that we're going with, and I had told my brothers and sisters that I wanted to share with you the samples that we looked at when this took place. So the department company is going to take a look at this because it has weight within us, our family, directly. So 